application and uh, test one of the more popular streaming services here in the UK. Hi player. Now, on Android, iPlayer installs mainly as a link through to a website because they are still in the process of transitioning iPlayer over to HTML5. So at the moment, you need to install another application as well. This one down here, BBC Media Player. Now, BBC Media Player is based on Adobe Air and is improving all the time. You'll see notes if you go on Google, Adobe Air, BBC Media Player, you'll see that there's still a lot of work being done on improving this application. But we're now bringing both of these down. So you can see it's just downloading at the moment. Also, as I said on one of the earlier pieces, you can see down here the status um, straight out of the OS here, yeah, straight out of Android, the status of any downloads as well. Okay, so it's busy installing. Let's drop back to the top menu. Fall through to the back menu. Let's pull this through to the front menu. Now, yeah, great. Media player successfully installed. Just got all the notification down there on the right-hand side of the OS. So let's pull up iPlayer. Now, that will just happen the first time you sign into the browser. Now, oh, oh, straight away, this is a browser, and this is one of the uh, glitches we were talking about. It doesn't immediately recognize that this is just a, a standard Android TV box. I'm going to settings, drop down to debug, browser mode, and if I switch it to desktop, which the BBC website thinks it is, and I go to browser mode and switch it back to Android, which it already was. And look, it recognises it. Okay, so now that iPlayer has been recognised within the browser, you can navigate through programs, go to channels, and drop into programs. They just appear all within the browser. If you click to play, that will spawn the BBC Media Player. And then give yourself a moment or two and it'll start to buffer up. There you go.